On his day, Graham Cowdery is about as destructive a batsman as you will find in English cricket. Not for him the delicate caress. His style has been honed by the demands of one-day cricket and the ball is emphatically thumped to and over the boundary. Crash through the offside by Graham Cowdery. Magnificent way for Kent to bring up their hundred. Little bit of width. Cowdery has chopped that away. He's hit it quite firmly. And that's gone through for four. Square on the offside. Off Batty's first ball. A quick eye and a powerful bottom hand combined to drive bowlers to distraction in the latter stages of an innings. And they know from bitter experience that it doesn't matter where you place your field if the batsman hits the ball out of the ground. Side off stump and deposited it over mid wicket. Well, this is a quite extraordinary shot. Fairly safe, the ball outside off stump. Not going to be bowler LBW, but it's the contact. Amazing contact. Climbed into that again. That's the second six in two overs from Graham Cowdery. Swept away, this time slightly finer. Bush could have lied. It's beaten man at uh, backward point, feeling inside uh, that fielding circle. And beaten man out on the boundary as well. The pick-up for six on the leg side is a favourite and deliberate high, yeah. shot. Magnificent shot by Cowdery. It was Graham Cowdery who did the major demolition job on Hampshire's attack. His 105 not out was bludgeoned off just 62 deliveries. Sean Noodle had contained the West Indies the week before, but was hammered for 77 off just eight overs, including three Cowdery sixes. Not the sort of shots his illustrious father, Sir Colin, might have played, but mighty effective nonetheless. He is an instinctive and inspirational fielder, constantly on the prowl and bringing off diving stops. Two great catches, and the ground fielding also has been quite outstanding. And he also has a magnificent pair of hands. Cowdery, what a good catch again. That's three times now he's pulled off a great piece of fielding. And the innings is only one run old. Two pieces of ground fielding and then that brilliant catch to get rid of Deepak Patel. Everybody on the toes. Cowdery. Yes, I think his father would have been very proud of that stop, Jack. Indeed he would, and so would a lot of people as well, others. All in all, a passionate, totally unselfish team man, and one who has earned the admiration and respect of fellow players and supporters alike. Up goes the ball. Keeps his cap and he's delighted too. And in 1995, Graham's performances were instrumental in Kent returning to winning ways by clinching the Sunday League title.